Fit to be blessed, you are going to have to become a Christian. Billy was attracted to political power like a moth is attracted to flame. He says evangelicals will vote one way and I could swing 16 million evangelicals with a single word. He was one of the best known and most influential religious leaders of the 20th century. Billy Graham, who died at age 99, was uh, estimated to have preached in person to 210 million people. A new PBS documentary examines the rise of the man who is arguably most responsible for the power of modern evangelism in the United States, who also uh, had roots here in Chicago. We're talking to the director of the film, Sarah Colt, who joins us now. Sarah, thanks for being Good with morning. us. Thank you so much for having me. This is so such a pleasure. You know, I'm just curious, people, that name is so familiar to most Americans. How is it that he transcended religion and just really became this iconic figure, whereas other, you know, preachers did not? You know, it's such a good question, and that was like sort of the main question of the documentary in many ways. And I think one of the things was that he had this kind of power over people. He was, you know, he figured that out fairly early on, that he just had a sway with people. He was very magnetic. And um, I also think, you know, he made a real, very conscious effort to le lead his ministry and his life um, sort of at the, in the most upright manner possible. So he was, there were no scandals with Billy Graham. He was absolutely committed to his um, mission and he did not let anything kind of derail him. But when it comes to politics, um, it, it, you pick a side, that can come back to bite you. And I think maybe that happened with, with Nixon. Did he learn a lesson there? Well, that's what I should have, you know, that was sort of the next thing to say, which is aside from politics. I think that his Achilles heel in some ways were was his love of politics and his um, increasing willingness to pick a side, as you say, and become partisan and publicly partisan. And that really burns him with Nixon. What would people be surprised to learn about him that they that you found out doing this? Well, you know, you want to, when you make a biography, you want to figure out how to get close to someone. And Billy Graham was hard to get close to because he was so on. He was always so on in public, whether it was in appearances on television programs or when he was in a, doing a crusade. And so, um, you know, I think a lot of people wouldn't know that he, you know, was so enamored with politicians, that he um, loved being on the inner circle in the White House with Nixon. And that was sort of his down, down yeah. not really downfall, because he absolutely had this incredible career that spanned his long, long life. But he learned something from that and um, changed because of it. Is it unethical, though, to be, to have this tax exemption as a church and yet you're preaching politics you're trying to pick a winner you know that that's a real question that we grapple with today i mean i think the argument that we came to with the film was that billy graham really opened a door to conservative christianity in the white house and whether we today think that that's appropriate or not is a question and so when you think about the 2016 election when Donald Trump was backed by the evangelical vote, that evangelical vote didn't really exist until Billy Graham helped to create it. Mm. What is the Chicago connection with Billy Graham? Well, you know, we ended up opening the film with uh, Billy Graham's uh, appearance in, at Soldier's Field in 1962. It was his final appearance after a two-week crusade in Chicago. And we picked it because it is a remarkable piece of footage where you see tens of thousands of people uh, listening to Billy Graham preach. And we felt like that was a good place to start. But he also attended college at Wheaton College. And he actually very briefly, and very few people know this, and we actually didn't include this in the film, he was a local pastor at a church in Western Springs. So he has a lot of connections to Illinois and Chicago. Well, you can check out Billy Graham at pbs.org backslash American Experience. You can also get more on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Sarah, thanks for being with us. Thanks, Sarah. Thank, thank you for having me.